Hey YouTube, it's your girl Always Nigeria coming at you today with another video. Um, as requested, it was for the anatomy portion of the HESI exam, so I will be going ahead and talking about that today. Now, those of you who've watched my other videos on the HESI, I did go over a math, um, the math portion of the HESI as well as, sorry, let me turn the music down as well as um, just giving an overall, you know, explanation of the HESI. Um, I have not done a reading comprehension ver uh, version of this yet, and I will be doing that either today or tomorrow or sometime this week. Um, okay, we're going to jump right into it. So for the HESI exam, for those of you who do not know, um, it is a requirement to get it, uh, admitted into any nursing program. They either have the HESI exam or they have the TEAS um, exam, and it's an exam to test your knowledge to know that um, you are eligible to get into this program. Now, that is dependent on not only your HESI score, but your overall GPA, especially if you're going to a... Um, competitive program such as myself so without further ado and sorry if you hear my daughter in the background she's up she refuses to take a nap so I'm trying to record this while she's up and she's one so it's kind of hard also i do have a two week old so we'll see how this video goes okay so this is one of the um, materials that i used in order to study for the hesse um it is actually by Elsevier, and they're the people who created the HESI exam. So, um, yeah, what better place to, you know, start studying than from material that the actual creators of the exam um, created the material. So, for the anatomy portion only, because this is all this video is about, um, there are 30 questions. It, of course, is time to so get um, 30 minutes for this, um, and it goes over things such as uh, bones, hormones, tissues. Um, let's see, what else was it going over that I can remember off the top of my head? Um, uh, like body directions and things like that. So, for example, like, you know, the anterior posterior dorsal ventral things like that body cavities um it also went over things such as the body planes so you will want to know things of that nature um it like i said it did go over the tissues and things like that um went over the skeletal you know system it went over mitosis and meiosis um, like I said, it went over the skin, um, the muscular system, the nervous system, the endocrine system, which of course is like a lot of the hormones, the circulatory system, um, the vascular system, the respiratory system, the digestive system, the urinary system, the reproductive system. Now, with that being said, it doesn't go over a ton of questions in each of those categories, as you can probably figure out, seeing it's only 30 questions. However, you do want to be prepared to get a question out of any of those categories. So it will be in your best interest to study all of those. And no, you don't have to know as much about them as possible because it is a um, very basic um anatomy and physiology it's not going into like super 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 details but i can say this that some questions are very detailed whereas some questions are very basic so you do want to know your material and you are required to take human anatomy one and two as well as biology 155 or sorry i don't know how your school codes it but biology one i guess it would be for everyone um before you can actually register for the HESI along with the required um, writing or reading, sorry, classes along with, um, I think that's all that my school required um, in order to sit for the HESI. Now to actually sit for the program, there are other prereqs that need to be done, um, but I'm not going to go into that in this video because that's not what this is about. So I did do uh, my own study guide 
things like that going over the different systems and then I like I said I ended up there you go I ended up going back in as you can see there's like notes written off to the side so I went in and made things um, a little bit more detailed just because I didn't know exactly how much I needed to know for the exam and then I did like little practice tests um, so things like this I would print off um, other things like this another practice exam this one is actually 100 100 questions now what I can say is that it is like I said only 30 questions however I always wanted to be over prepared rather than under prepared so um, I would actually set my timer and do practice uh, quizzes uh, there is actually a very very good study aid it's um, found on Quizlet and those of you who want it um, you can either email me at always.nigeria at gmail.com. That's A W or sorry, A L W A Y S period N Y G E R I A at gmail.com. Or you can leave a comment below requesting the name of that Quizlet file. And if you actually leave your email below, I can actually send you or share you, uh, share the file with you. Um, because it's a very, very good study aid and actually a ton of the questions that were on the exam were on that file. So if you're worried about a and I really do highly suggest you get this book. Um, and it goes over like the basic um, parts of the body and hormones and things like that. And like I said, the people who made this book are the same people who made the exam. So, I mean, it kind of go hand in hand. Um, Let's see what else do you need to know about it yeah that's pretty much it as long as you um go over the material and you can actually get that book hopefully from your school bookstore but if not you can actually buy it on amazon um so either way you can go ahead and get the book um and if you want that quizlet I'll share it with you. Um, just drop your email below or email me and request it as well as subscribe to my channel. I will only help you if you help me. I'm trying to grow my channel and inform people. And if you want to be in not only informed, sorry, if you not only want to be informed, but, um, you know, pass your exam, then please like, subscribe, comment and share. You don't even have to like the page. Just subscribe and comment below so that I can send you the material um, that you request because it definitely will help you pass the anatomy portion um, now that is only to say I don't know how long the exams will be um, in rotation so I suggest if you're taking it soon to you know comment below so that I or email me so that I can send you the material but if you're taking it a ways from now I'm not sure if it'll be the same material on the exam um, but these are just the, some of the questions from the exam that I actually remember. Um, so, yeah, if you want that study aid, then go ahead and subscribe along with leave your email so that I can send it to you. Now, what I can also say is um, it is an actual study aid. It's not just going to give you answers. You will have to study that material. However, if you study that material... I can guarantee that you'll pass the a and P portion of the exam. You have to study the material. You will know the material. So it's not like you're actually cheating, but it definitely has at least 80 to 90 percent of the questions on that Quizlet were on the exam. So, yeah, I literally finished my a and P portion within, um, I believe it was seven minutes. No, I'm sorry. It was five minutes, 21 seconds. I got done with the AMP portion. So it was very helpful along with the book and along with the actual um, study guides that I created along with taking practice exams. So as long as you do that, you'll be overly prepared. And it's always better, better to be overly prepared than underprepared. And also, I just want to know, I don't own the rights to any of this music that's playing in my background. Um, so, yeah. And sorry for my daughter that's always in the background, but hey, I'm mom, so 
like it or love it, doesn't matter. She ain't gonna be quiet. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting below. As always, it's your girl, Nigeria, and I'm out.